assalamu alaikum welcome to fire automation youtube channel today we are here to learn another plc programming example and this example we will use bitroz instructions as well as timers and this is also a real life example and we will try to solve that example we will also use tagging addressing and we will also use interlocking concept in that example let's see the example this example is traffic light signal there are three signals we will program only one signal one signal has three outputs that may be three lights which are red yellow and green and there will be one input that will be used to start the traffic signals or to enable traffic signals without wasting any time let's open the ta portal now we are here in ta portal first we will drag normal open contact that we will use to enable the signal system we can name it as m0.0 okay now we will use uh, timer instructions from timer instruction we will use pulse timer this is pulse timer and okay and we will use another bit law instruction we can call it negative edge output coil that will detect the negative edge of pulse timer in this example the two main instruction that we will use these are pulse timer and negative edge output coil uh, if you don't know the use of these two instruction then you can watch my previous video pulse timer i have discussed in timers video and this instruction i have discussed in bit log instructions part 4 first watch those videos then proceed with this example let's program this system in pulse timer here we will add the terms for what time we want to remain on the output pulse timer will give the pulse for that time that we will set in pt pt value will take the times in millisecond that's why we use here 10,000 it means 10 second it means the pulse timer will give us 10 second pulse that will remain our output on for 10 second then it will be automatically off and there are two operands for negative edge the upper end will detect the negative edge if m0.1 and the lower end will be the our output q0.0 okay and uh, i will tell you that why i am using negative edge output coil then we have to add another branch this will be for one light and uh, as you know we have to add three lights that's, that's why we have to add another branch and same like that we have to add normal open contact and then we have to add pulse timer okay and then uh, we have to add negative edge output coil same like same for third and uh, normally open contact okay and uh, we will use uh, uh, pulse timer okay and 
नेगेटिव आउटपुट कॉइल ओके नेगेटिव आउटपुट कॉइल नो वी विल टैग देम फर्स्ट आई हैव टू टैग दिस एज रीनेम टैग वी कैन से इट दिस इज आवर स्टार्ट ओके वी विल प्रेस दिस वन टू स्टार्ट द सिग्नल्स and this uh, this will be the our negative edge signal and 0.1 okay we will also here we'll use the same time 10000 okay and here we will also use uh, we will use m0.2 and here we will and use q0.1 and this will be the our uh, m0.2 uh, here we will use 10000 okay and here we will use m0.3 okay and last one will be our output q0.1 Uh, sorry q0.2 okay now we will tag all these operands this will be the our negative edge for that one and q0.0 will be our first light we can say it as green green one we can say green one green one means green light of first signal okay and we can say it as a rename tag we can say it as yellow yellow one okay and this will be the this will be the red red one okay mm. no we will simulate this program first start simulation okay it will take time yeah now we will load this now it's being loaded this will take some time okay finish it and start the simulation okay now we will on the monitor mode now monitor mode is on now i will tell you that why i had used negative as output coil first when we will press the m0.0 then our pulse timer will be on and remain our output q0.0 on for 10 second okay but m0.0 will not be on it will only be on when our pulse timer changes its state from 1 to 0 it means when q0.0 will be 0 this will be 1 and this will act as a start button for next timer okay and same like for the timer when this timer changes its state from 1 to 0 this will detect that signal this will detect negative as signal and it will act as a start button for this timer and this will on this output okay let's try this first uh, i'm going to start this uh, modifying this and modifying to 1 okay now you can see that timer has been started it will remain our output 1 you can see the here true Uh, now you can see that it's automatically started next timer okay 
because he detects negative edge from previous timer now you can see that the third one timer is also detect this negative edge no you have seen that when i have started it means it will remain on green light for 10 second and after green signal it will remain yellow light for 10 second and same like for red one now but it automatically has been stopped we want that it will remain carry on until we don't want to off that system now what we have to do we have to use the here interlocking concept how we can use here interlocking concept here we will use this is this operand and this bit m0.0 .0. we will use it here okay here this will be interlocked with first timer when our last timer will be off then it will act as a start button for that one okay let's first modify this to zero okay now it has been zero here we will use another okay we can say it what was the friend name and this is m0.3 okay we will use here and 0 0.3 0 0.3 okay now we will check it download this load this now we will check that this uh, traffic light signal will automatically be remain continued okay. let's try this modify this as one okay the system has not started because here i have used normal open contact and this is not one that's why this is timer has not started that's why we have to use here normally close contact okay okay we will use normally close contact and load this okay load this now now you can see that this was one i have already probably and now you can see that okay what's happening oh yeah now it has reached there you can see that it will be automatically started now you can see that now it's being automatically continued because here we you we have used interlocking concept that will remain on until we don't stop that one okay you can see that it automatically acting this will automatically on the our first timer okay you can see that this will remain continue until we don't stop there that's why we uh, modify this um, one to zero to stop this okay now uh, i have modified this from one to zero but it will only stop when it has reached its cycle it has completed its cycle okay now you can see that this has been stopped okay i think you really enjoyed this video and please make sure to like this video if you have not subscribed this channel please make sure to subscribe the channel thank you very much allah hafiz